I tell you, now is the time to strike. So don't tell me they're going to unite the Hawkmen and the Baron, and they're going to Flash is going to work on the Baron side, and the other two are going to work on the Hawkman side, and then they all attack Ming and defeat him. Is Flash going to have to do the whole arm in the tree thing? A stranger in this temple must try the wood beast or die. But seemingly you die anyway if you go put your arm into the wood beast. So again, a bit of a Sophie's choice there. Coward. Let's do it. Well, that's easy. Just use the same passage the Baron's after using because you know it's safe. Oh, come on, Flash, you can't be this thick, man. Well, he is that thick. Be my lucky day. But he got away with it. So they're playing Russian roulette with this wood beast thing. But again, Flash used the same hole that the Baron used. No one ever said that you couldn't use the same hole. Your play. No. Yours. You're not playing by the rules, Baron. Russian roulette requires each person to go one after another. Yes! Oh, God! Did he get bitten? Tricked you, Baron! Ah, it was all a wily ruse. Fair enough, Flash. You got a bit more up there than I give you credit for. Leave him! He's mine! I hunt him alone. Of course you hunt him alone, because he already bested you once. And hunting him alone is obviously the smart move to do. Well, I presume this swamp is full of those wood beast things as well. And quicksand, obviously. So is Flash dead now? He got sucked under by the quicksand? Can't be. The entire movie's named after him, so he has to get out somehow. That wasn't any tree branch, that was some giant swamp creature. <laughs> so rather than drowning to death in quicksand, he's now going to be eaten by this giant crab thing. <laughs> Except the Baron saves him for some reason. This is one grave you won't be returning from. Saved by the Hawkman. Did that spaceship look like a giant fly's head? The front of it particularly? You'd sell us to me! <laughs> Do you expect mercy here? So the Hawkmen are not on board with the whole let's unite and attack Ming thing yet because Hawkman Brian Blessed is going to sell Timothy Daunton back to Ming the Merciless. Without first being given the right of trial by combat. Who do you choose to fight? He's going to choose Flash, who else? This place is a lunatic asylum. Exactly, it is a lunatic asylum Flash. At least you're waking up to that man. And by the way, where did Flash get the get the vest with the lightning flash on it to remind him of his name? Because I didn't see that before. Last time I saw you, I prayed it was a dream. This time I'm praying it's not. I am really feeling sorry for Dale here. As I said, she's been Rohypno, she's been human trafficked, she's been stalked by several men, she's been concubined, and yet she's still falling in love with Flash. Different times, I suppose. Oh, this is like that Lord of the Rings castle, you know, which was up in the sky and they had um, the hole in the roof, which the kid, crazy kid, wanted to throw everyone out of. <laughs> Watch out, Flash, and nearly went there straight away. This is where Flash's American football skills would come into play because surely you just rugby tackle him or American football tackle him, whatever, and throw him off the edge, no? <laughs> uh, so the Hawkman's changing the balance of the game by tilting the old platform. Not fair, man, come on. <laughs> oh, and now there's spikes coming up out of the platform as well. Bastard! Hawkman's having a great old time there, in fairness. Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh, 
Those spikes don't look like they'd kill you, but they do look like they would hurt. The Baron's whipping old Flash to death there. He's gonna knock him off the platform if this continues. Flash! Flash! I love you! Dale, calm down, girl. I know you've been raw hypnol and everything, but just calm down. You've only known the guy for a few minutes on the plane where he openly admitted to stalking you. <laughs> Looks like the Baron has the upper hand here. Bye-bye, Baron. Bye -bye, Baron. Flash, get out of his stranglehold. Flip the Baron over the edge. And now Flash is going to do the gentlemanly thing, rescue the Baron, and then that'll form a bond with the Baron, who'll then agree to the pact with the Hawkmen to attack Ming. Flash. Definitely got Dale going again. Are you go. Cool? I follow. Great. All it took to change the Baron's mind was to save his life. There is something finer in this galaxy than Ming's law. Rubbish! No, I agree with Hawkman. Ming's law forever. Oh, uh, because Ming the Merciless number two is now going to attack the Hotman's palace, they're going to be annoyed and join the Baron and Flash. Oh no, he's not attacking. I'm wrong. Agent Zarkov, you will be liquidated for treachery. This guy's just coming in saying he's going to liquidate everyone. Step forward, Baron. Hmm? Address me as Prince Baron. No longer. How can you be a Prince Baron? They're two separate titles. Flash! So Ming's number two is dead just like that. On one of those spiky things on the platform. Hey, and that for some reason caused his face to melt and his eyes to pop out of his head. You brought down destruction on my kingdom! No, Voltan! You have shown us the way. Exactly, Baron. Or Prince Baron, or whatever the hell your name is. I agree with you. Time to strike. Time to unite. Time to end Ming's Law forever. Even though I was pro Ming's Law just a few moments ago. Traitor! Change your breath, Baron! Evacuate! Fly! So the Hawkman are not going to join. They're just legging it? Or flapping it away? It's Ming. He'll blow us to atoms. We must stop him. So Ming's about to blow the remaining survivors up. And this guy is waving the flag of surrender. I don't think Ming's the type of guy that would take a surrender. No, leave him there. Prepare my Imperial Lambda. Well, maybe he is. He's going to land and talk to them, seemingly. You want to destroy me? I have to. So Ming has taken away the other two, or three, Dale, the Prince Baron, and Zarkov. And he's now just hanging around having a chat with Flash. <laughs> okay. Ming the Merciless. Offers Flash Gordon a kingdom of Mongo. So here we have the devil's temptation of Jesus in the desert with Ming the Merciless offering Flash a kingdom that he can rule over and do with what he wants if he just bows to Ming's rule. And he is dressed like the devil, that caricature of the devil with the upturned eyebrows and the goatee. They won't be quite the human beings you remember. Easier for you to rule in the name of Ming. It is the devil's bargain. He's giving him earth to rule over, just like the devil gave Jesus the opportunity to rule all the kingdoms of the earth. If he bowed to him and accepted his rule, Ming is offering Flash the exact same de deal here. We will breed with her and send our imperial progeny back to populate your earth. And he's also offering Flash the chance to breed with the princess so his future line will become rulers of all of Mongol. I'd much rather see you on my side than scattered into... So what's Flash going to do here? Rule the earth and breed with the princess or fight Ming the Merciless? <laughs> to be honest, I'd probably take choice number one. Judge me all you want, I probably would. The princess is a fine looking woman. I get to rule the earth. I don't see a downside here. So Flash turned down the bargain, obviously, and now Ming is destroying the hot men's palace where obviously Flash can't fly away from. So how's he going to get out of this one? Flash, I loved you. Of course you did, Dale. You loved him after knowing him for less than 24 hours. They were brave creatures, Voltan. Shut up! I think Flash messed around with Dale's head when he got that whole telepathy device thing. But there's no way I can help a man who's dead! 
Flash isn't dead. So, Mr. Hawkman, you are going to get that second chance you were looking for. This is Voltan. I read you. Where are you? I'm on your air jet ski. Hey, for what it's worth, Ming's got Dale, Zarkov, and Baron. Well, at least you'll be able to get the Prince Baron's men now to unite with the Hawkmen to go and rescue the Prince Baron along with Zarkov and Dale. Don't touch me! <laughs> Princess Aura is now going to be a concubine of Ming as well. This is really weird. Dale, stop! I'm going to be exiled in the morning! Liar! Oh, she's going to be exiled. She's just been stored in the concubine's room while her and Dale have what suspiciously looks like a female mud wrestling contest, which was quite popular back in the 80s. Without the mud, of course. Could tears come from my eyes if my heart hadn't changed? The princess has learned to cry. But I don't trust you. Not if you give him this. It's deadly poison. Okay, so the princess has given Dale some deadly poison. So when Ming comes in to rape her unconscious body, she is somehow supposed to drug Ming and kill him. Your joy's time has come. Follow us. You are to be prepared for your wedding. So she's about to get married to Ming the Merciless. Great. Nothing can save me now. Except Flash Gordon, savior of the universe. Fire when Gordon's in rage. So our American hero is coming to rescue the day. Some good old laser beams. Can't go wrong with laser beams. Except they have no tracking system and are highly inaccurate. He's escaping, idiot! Flash seems to have some sort of laser gun on the front of his air jet ski as well. And I bet you he'll be an ace shot just like Buck Rogers and V and everything else. Fire! These gigantic spacecraft seem to have difficulty locking on and tracking on a simple air jet scooter, which I presume is no defenses. He's not coming out, sir. Charge capacities to electrify cloud. These guys' helmets look like riding helmets. You know horse riding helmets? Fire capacitators. So what are they doing? Electrifying the clouds so the Hawkmen will all drop like flies? Die! There's going to be a dive bomb attack by the Hawkmen. Spectacular. On top side! And these guys in this spacecraft, this galactic empire, can't even defend against basically human pigeons. They have to put their men with laser guns out the side of the craft. 